Let's do a little more bass guitar work. So we were working on like... Oops. And we were doing some... How about this? We're gonna... We did... Now I just want to double that and go... Looking for my metronome. Where did I put that? There it is. <laughs> so I'm doing two E's and two G's and repeating. <clears throat> Let's find a, a tempo. How about, oh, 176. Oh, how about a little slower, like 128. One, two, ready, go. Let's go a little slower, like 96. thinking eighth notes one and two and three and four and one and two and three. that's very cool let's take the tempo down to like 78 just for fun tempo is really interesting to play with <laughs> yeah a metronome is a really good tool So I was just using one finger with my right hand. Now we'll try two. Same thing. Two. Ready, go. It's really sensitive to tone. If I don't hit it just right, it might be a little scrapey or scratchy. When you do the right hand, uh, the picking hand, the fingers should just come right to the thumb. Boom, boom, boom. Just slam it into your thumb. Easier said than done. All right. So that's, that's kind of why I like, I like using a pick. It takes out it's a little bit lazy, but my style is more of like Ramones meets, you know, kind of punchy hard rock and kind of da 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 da. I like that eighth note business, but uh, it's up to you. You can use the pick or your fingers, uh, whichever. I, I'll kind of switch back and forth. Let's do a blues scale. This is uh, the E blues scale. It's really, really cool. We're going to go open E to 3rd fret G, 5th fret A, 6th fret B flat. Let's use the middle finger at 6th flat, uh, sixth fret. Ring finger, 7th fret B. Let's do that again. We got open E, 3rd fret G index and then we'll shift our hand up and do five six seven a b flat b and then we have to decide what finger we want to use it could be different things for different days let's go index ring for 10 12 d e 10 12 which is a very it's kind of like big john distracted. Big John, <laughs> Big John, Big John. It's just kind of a little practice. Two, three, four. All right, let's review. We got E, G, A, B flat, B, D,
I just did a slide. Slide is real. Drag it down the neck. You could go ring ring at the end. Or ring pinky. So we're gonna start getting that pinky involved. It's not gonna like it. Let's do that scale descending from 12 to zero. Let's use uh, any finger you want. We got 12, 10, seven, six, five, three, zero. So a scale will go up, a scale goes down. Swing to it. Swing. Hitting every note two times with a swing feel. It's got kind of a, a skippy sound. Yeah. That's our E blues scale. All right. Well, eventually we're gonna be moving all over the neck. We're gonna get every note down, you know. Um, there's different ways to learn. Some teachers keep you in the first three frets for like three years. I'm like, hey man, let's go crazy on the first lesson. Let's do the whole neck. Uh, so it varies. You know, every teacher's different. I've been doing this a long time. Every, every instructional book I've ever seen, I see things I like. And I see things that are just kind of a little too boring. And uh, so I try to mix it up, make it a little bit fun. Eventually, you're going to need everything that's in any book, pretty much. But, uh, you know, what order? what's the perfect order to learn in? Some people claim to have it figured out. I like to keep it a little mysterious. But covering that blues scale is pretty darn cool. So that's 0, 3, 5, 6, 7, 10, 12. E, G, A, B flat, B, D, E. And those notes are all over the neck, so we can expand that, which I'm not going to do right now. I'll try to keep myself uh, focused a little bit. And uh, if you can play that, you're doing pretty good. And we can add a little more. Let me know if you like this and we'll add more and we'll have a lot of fun. Try to memorize as much of this as you can and practice it over and over and use a metronome. Then your timing will develop.